Hi, my name is Wayne Marshall, and I'm playing tonight's concert here at the Elbe Philharmonie. This is my first visit to this wonderful hall, and I'm really looking forward to playing to you tonight. I'm a musician, and I happen to play the piano, I happen to play the organ, and I conduct. And um, yes, I've been very fortunate in my career that I have been able to juggle things so that I can do all three, although nowadays I'm mainly playing the organ and conducting. Hamburg is a wonderful city, and here we have a hall which is, you know, actually in the harbour. Um, I don't really know too many concert halls. Maybe in um, in Sydney, there's you know, the, the Opera House is actually in a kind of similar kind of environment, but it's not a harbour. Um, but it's it's a very special place, unique, yes, and um, it's it adds to the the actual drama in a way of of, of the building and the architecture is really quite spectacular. The things I'm always keen, you know, is how the organ sounds, and um, you know, one has to sit down and improvise for a lot of, you know, many minutes, and uh, just just really to get to know the character of the organ, and to, you know, what, and to plan some kind of, you know, idea about how you're going to register the pieces and to make this organ sound good, and you know, all these things, and how easy it is to operate the instrument. That's very, very important, you know, to see how it's well laid out. Um, how easy it is to play and how it feels. It's, you know, it's, you've got to really get to know the instrument and, and by, you know, by improvising and playing it a lot, then you really, you know, of course one has to be really at, at one with the instrument. And that's very, very important. Doing a live stream for me is, um, is, a, is, a, is a pleasure and I like the, the, t the technicalities of doing it, but I treat it like a real concert, because it is a performance after all.
Good evening, everybody. Good Abend. Good evening. Wayne Marshall here at the Elbe Philharmonie here in Hamburg. And I'm presenting tonight a live stream organ concert on this wonderful, uh, this wonderful instrument and this amazing hall. <coughs> you know, the COVID pandemic, of course, has put a stop to everybody coming in into the halls here in Germany and in most, most of Europe as well. This is the second time actually that uh, my concert should have taken place. And I got a phone call last week saying that unfortunately the concert's been canceled, but they wanted still to go ahead with the live stream. And I'm very happy to be doing it because it's, you know, culture can't stop. You know, we just have to keep going. And I'm just so happy and grateful for this, for this opportunity to present this concert and, and um, play for you this evening. Live streaming is nothing new to me because, you know, when I stopped performing back in March. Um, my last concert was in Moscow on the 9th of March this year. And I went home and um, my wife actually was telling me about the situation, grave though it was, and I had to think about what I was gonna do. And so she came up with this idea of saying, well, Wayne, you're gonna go live on Facebook tonight. I had no idea about Facebook, I never used it. But I certainly soon got to know all about it because I mean, I'm very, very keen about recording and um, so I started to use um, software to use in conjunction with Facebook and uh, yeah I've been I've been doing it so throughout the earlier part of the year I was doing these weekly concerts from my own house and also from the cathedral in Valletta Malta where I live and so yeah so this is nothing new to me but it's just really good to be here um, I started with a little improvisation now on some themes of Leonard Bernstein you can probably recognize that there were um, one hand, one heart, and um, um, somewhere, I think that's what I was playing tonight. But um, just to start off this, to play on this beautiful instrument um, by Philip Kleiss of Bonn. Um, and I just wanted to sort of just to show you a, a few fortes of what's, what's to come in this concert. Um, the, main, the main work is the work I'm going to play for you now, the Sixth Symphony by Charles Marie Vidor. Um, this is one of my favorite pieces of music. It's very orchestral in its character and um, five movements. The first is basically theme and variation. Uh, this grand theme at the beginning and then these series of variations. But the way that uh, the, the movement unfolds is really, really very dramatic and um, I really, really like, really like this, this movement very much. Then the second movement, uh, we can imagine that the, the cello section of the orchestra is playing this beautiful chorale in the key of B major, quite low down, you know, wonderful evocative key of B major, G minor to B major. Uh, a beautiful second movement, which I like very much. And again, you've got to think about it as a very orchestral um, movement. The third movement is an intermezzo. It's not really a scherzo, but um, it's a you know nice, fast, virtuosic movement. Lots of finger work going on in the manuals. Uh, very, very nice movement. Then the fourth movement, we're, we're enticing some of the solo registers on the third manual here, the swell. So we hear some of these wonderful expressive stops um, uh, in a kind of melodic uh, figure which goes through and develops and it's beautiful, beautiful movement. And then to finish the grand finale, which of course is a great feature of all these, these symphonies, the great finale, you know, real showpiece, um, it brings this, this beautiful symphony to an end. As I said, this is, you know, Vidor wrote 10 symphonies and uh, for me, I think this is, this is his best. Number six, here it goes.
The Sixth Symphony. Oops, sorry. The Sixth Symphony there by Charles Murray Vidor. Great piece of music. And uh, yeah, it's uh, really one of my favorites of all the 10 symphonies which Vidor wrote. <coughs> Excuse me. This is, I think, one of his best. I mean, it's amazing how the work is so well composed and every movement really is, a, is an event in itself. That's it. Um, I hope we're all enjoying this, this live stream, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, you know, as I said, there's, it's amazing to be in this amazing concert hall and um, there's some 2,000 seats in here and there's not one person in sight. And, uh, but, you know, these are the times we are in, sadly. But as I said at the beginning, I hope that this is not going to last for too long. You know, we cannot, we cannot survive like this. You know, culture cannot survive. Um, there has to be a way where people can start to perform again. And um, I think the only way that this is going to happen is by, you know, new measures of, uh, of obviously, of, of safety, of distance and, and, and trust, I think. You know, we just, have to just, we just have to get back to it. You know, the world, can you imagine the world without music? Yeah, it would be a, a deathly place, I think. You know, silence would be not, not, the, not the solution. So we have to really get there. Now, the next two pieces I'm going to play um, are written by, were written by George Baker. George Baker is an American composer and organist, um, but his day job is that of a dermatologist. I've never met George, so I'd love to meet him someday, but he, he's, he always writes fantastic music. And these two pieces, the next two pieces I'm going to play for you, the Deux Evocations, um, were actually uh, written for Nathan Lauber, this great American organist. I just met him a few, few weeks ago in, in Vienna. Fantastic player. Um, the two Evocations are really dedicated to two former French organists, so Louis Vienne at Notre Dame, and also Pierre Cochot, who was also organist at Notre Dame. The first is um, uh, a very evocative piece, uh, this chorale with this theme that comes later on, based on uh, music or themes from the, from the Virgin, depicting the Virgin Mary. And it's wonderful, very, very evocative, using this delicate sound of the organ, builds up to a big crescendo in the middle, then but basically the organ is, is, is basically quite, quite quiet, but very evocative. Then the second uh, evocation is based on Easter, Easter hymns, a great Easter hymn you'll hear in the pedals theme, but the, the manuals have a very sort of sinister feel to them, you know, very, very kind of, uh, yeah, rhythmic and, you know, but it's a wonderful, typical French style of writing. So here they are, ladies and gentlemen, the Deux Evocations by George Baker.
So there we have it. Two evocations there by the great American and organist and composer and dermatologist, George C. Big. Thank you, George, for providing such great music. If you're listening to this, this um, live stream tonight, it's a uh, pleasure to have you on board, my friend. I look forward to meeting you one day. So the last printed pieces of music in this, in this, in this recital tonight, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, a work by Andrew Ager. It's a Canadian composer. Um, I heard a very good friend of mine, David Briggs, playing this piece at Notre Dame uh, a, year, a year or so ago. And he sent me a recording of his, of his concert there. And I said, oh, I've got to, got to learn this piece. It's uh, such a great, great piece. I like it because it's very jazzy in its character, although it's in a, in a kind of French Toccata style, but um, it's very jazzy. This fugue also um, it's, it's kind of very expansive and bold and you know, very French, but the whole character of the Toccata is, is quite jazzy, jazzy. So again, Andrew, if you're listening, it's good, to, uh, good to, to, to have you on board, my friend, but anyway, if you're not, well, someone will probably tell you, but I, I think it's a great, great, great piece. Here it is, the Toccata and Fugue by Andrew Eger.
the Takata and Fugue there by the Canadian composer Andrew Ager. And uh, thank you, Thomas, for your page turning, my friend. Very good, 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 to, good of you to do that. And uh, thank you. Yes, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, it uh, really has been an absolute pleasure to, to be here to, to, to play this concert on this amazing instrument. I have to say, it's really quite, quite something. And um, uh, it suits all types of music. And um, I really have enjoyed putting it through its paces, so to speak. And um, I hope you've all enjoyed listening. Um, this is, as I said, similar to what I do at home, but the equipment here, of course, is far, far superior. You know, using these wonderful cameras. I think there's probably like eight cameras, they tell me, in the, in the room here, and using uh, Neumann KM183 microphones and some MK2s up there. So, you know, I'm really into all the technology part of it as well, but anyway. Right, the last piece in this program um, is an improvisation on themes of Ludwig van Beethoven. Of course, this year being his 250th anniversary, um, a lot of great plans, of course, were, were in place, but, you know, because of, you know what, a lot of these had to be shelved. However, it doesn't stop me from playing an improvisation now. And um, I said, I really have enjoyed performing uh, to you. And uh, so here goes, improvisation on themes of Beethoven. I have no idea what I'm gonna do yet, but Let's see.
Thank you very much indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much indeed for listening. I hope you enjoyed the concert. I also want to say a big thank you to the management here of the Elba Philharmonie for allowing me to do this and wanting to do this, and um, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you very much indeed. Stay safe, it's most important, and uh, one day we'll get back to having 2,000 people or so in this, in this wonderful hall and other halls throughout the world. Thanks a lot. Ciao. Good night.